Why, hello there, and welcome. Uh, in this video, I wanted to address, I wanted to expound on a point that I made a few videos ago, which was you know, basically the acknowledgement that many people, and I mean lots of people, it's not to be underestimated, the sheer number of people, when they're quite young, you say, you know, early 20s, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older than that, who identify as child-free and feel incredibly strongly that they're never going to have kids one day, ever, many of them are going to have children one day. Uh, lots of them. And I already went into why this is, I feel this to be important to acknowledge and for more people to, to think about and talk more about, think more deeply about, is because many people who are going to end up having children one day aren't going to give it anywhere near enough thought, enough preparation, enough introspection. You know, like, are you going to be a good parent? Do you feel as though you're ready to be a good parent? You know, do you feel as though you found the person that you're going to be a good parent with? You know, a, a partner that you're going to spend, you know, ideally the rest of your life with, but at least, you know, until the, the child is out of the, this flown the coop. Like, are you sure that this is the best decision for you to make in your life? These are important questions to ask ourselves. And many people who are child free, for example, don't give it much thought and then they're going to have kids one day. Many of them, maybe not you, maybe not me. I talked about this as well, that many people who are quite confident when they're young that they're never going to have kids, many of them aren't ever going to have kids. I'm likely one, you may be one, but many of us will. Just statistically speaking, large portions of people, many, many people are going to fall into that very common category of people who felt quite confident that they were never going to have kids when they were young, and then they ended up having kids. And I feel that more people would put in more effort to prepare for that eventual action, th that potential action, if more people gave it more thought. If more people took more seriously the possibility that they themselves would fall into that very common category of people, the sons peeking out and looking bright as shit. If they believe that, that that was even a, a very real possibility, and it is, you should, more people should take that seriously at the very least. And you see this very commonly with people who are, who identify as child-free when they're quite young. The reason as to why I feel it important to recognize that many of them tend to cite these very selfish, superficial, very short-sighted reasons as to why they feel that they will never have children is because of the fact that our who we are, again, as individuals, and are what we want out of life, and where we want to be, these things are going, for many of us, are going to shift significantly over time, and maybe gradually, and maybe suddenly. And this is, again, it's worth thinking about. It's worth asking the question, how likely am I to be, to be one of these very common cases where someone felt quite confident at a young age, they were never going to have kids, ended up having kids. Um, and I, yeah, I wanted to talk about a few of the common uh, catalysts for people who do feel quite confident that they're never going to have children when they're young, but then they end up having the children. Uh, a big one being, like I mentioned in the, the other video, that it's very common for people to more closely recognize that the clock is ticking. And this is a very common one when it comes to, to many women who recognize that they're at this point, they're getting closer and closer to this point of no return, if they're not there already. If they're not already dealing with fertility issues and they just don't realize it yet, they're going to be very soon. And it's, it's now or never. Uh, that's a very common one. And you combine this in many cases with more and more of a recognition of their own mortality. You see that very often as well. You know, with people who experience a close death in the family, for example, say one of their parents dies and they were very close to their, to one of their parents who died. And this is, you know, it's a very hefty reflection of, of their own fleeting mortality. So they more closely recognize there as well that the clock is, it's seriously ticking and they recognize in themselves that they are going to die. And it's easy to take this truth for granted, especially when we're 
uh, in our younger years and when we're on, in possession of our health, it's easy to take the fact that we're going to die one day, this vessel, this physical, it's going to decay and it's going to perish. Uh, it's easy to take that for granted. Yeah, you have that very commonly with people who feel as though they're never going to have kids, end up having kids. You combine those sorts of things, combined with this you know, shift in priorities, valuing the superficial aspects of you know, chasing after, the endless chase of, of sensual pleasure, for example. You recognize that's you know, empty, hollow, fleeting. It's, you, know, you can't hold on to that. And you can't hold on to anything here on this planet. But there are some things that are going to last far more far longer than other things and things that will bring you far more feelings of lasting fulfillment than other things uh, and children for many people that is what that is and of course you know again you can't escape selfish motivations entirely having children it is it's a selfish act in many ways um, again I do feel it to be worth mentioning. But, yeah, I guess the biggest reason, tying it back to, it, many people don't think about what it means to have a child at all. They don't think about preparing for this immense decision, this immense action. They don't think about all the ways in which one really does need to do that, not just financially, but emotionally, not just um, individually, like trying to get yourself to be the, the best version of yourself. That's very cliche, but but also doing this with your partner and growing with one another before creating a fucking human being, for example. Uh, and I've already, you know, I've talked about it before as well. The fact that, you know, single parent households, people having children out of wedlock, all these things are, have been gradually increasing. Um, not all that gradually. It's, it's been going up. People aren't taking the creation of new human beings as seriously, and this is getting worse. This has just been gradually getting worse. And it is not a good thing. It's, it's bad, the fact that so many people are continuing to be brought up in single parent households, not knowing one of their parents in many ways. And many, again, oftentimes you have a mother who struggles to be a good, adequate mother, let alone a, a father to her own child and it's just it's not a good situation and that's becoming a more common situation and that is not good so it, people should think about it more what does it mean to create a human being people should put in more time thinking about that and, and, and more effort attempting to minimize the risk of if you do, like, that's the thing that blows my fucking mind as well. You have so many people that know that they're heavily opposed to abortion, for example. You have many women that are just, that's not a possibility for them. They feel it to be morally wrong for whatever reasons, but they're not being careful when it comes to having sex. So they know that if they are to get pregnant, that's going to be the consequence. They're going to have to carry it to term because that's what they themselves, in the places where it is legal, uh, that, that's what they're going to feel obligated to do for many reasons. And yet they still, they won't take that additional precaution. And it's worth noting, there's a lot of dudes out there that are perfectly fine with just shooting their loads into fertile holes and not having any concern for the consequences. So ladies, ladies, if you're fucking around with dudes that you don't really know that well, there is a good chance that if they are to get you pregnant, and if you are to carry their to term, they're not going to care about the outcomes of their children's lives. You shouldn't, you shouldn't fuck these. You, if you're going to fuck it, you got to be careful. You know, make them wrap it up. Because they're not going to have to deal with the consequences that are to follow, that are to come in many cases. You know, it's one of the perks of, of having a penis, one of the biological perks. You can just shoot your loads and just, all right, good luck with that. Uh, I wish you well. And you just, and you just walk away. And then you're stuck. So, I mean, I would recommend you get an abortion in those cases. I would recommend you be careful so then you don't get pregnant, made, you don't get pregnated by some, some piece of shit. I would recommend that. But if you do, 
I would recommend you get an abortion. You know, I don't think God's going to be mad about you doing that. Uh, he'll be, yeah, I mean, if he's a thing, if he, he's real, he's going to be mad about the fact that you, you know, let this loser impregnate you to begin with. But I don't believe that he's a real thing. Um, I'm getting a little off track. A little, maybe a little bit more than just a little bit. But um, I guess the summary is more people should consider the possibility <laughs> that they're going to have kids one day. They should prepare more for that possibility. And they should give more thought, give more thorough introspection as to whether or not they are fit for the task of having and raising children. Because many of us, typically, we're not going to do as good of a job as we feel that we are. In many, in many, with many people, just in general, people tend to overestimate their competence when it comes to a whole host of different things. And this is one of those very common areas in which many people, they, um, they underestimate the difficulties that will take place as a consequence of having children. Just how, just how many things that, that can and will go wrong. People tend to do that. That's a common one. Um, yeah, the fact that people don't typically think all that deeply about what it means to create a person before they end up creating people, that's not good. I just, I don't understand how many people aren't able to wrap their heads around what sorts of consequences that ensue as a result of that, as a result of people creating people without giving it any modicum of respect, any modicum of thought as to what it means to create people. So it's, uh, it's very, it's very not good. It's very not good. And the very not goodness of it, the, the badness of it, again, it's, it's very easy to underestimate just how severe those consequences so often are. Because many people are just incredibly short-sighted and they'll fail to even contemplate long-term outcomes. You know, people will struggle to think about what sorts of lives their five-year-old children will have, like whether their father will be in the picture when they're five years old, let alone what their five-year-old child will later have to endure as a consequence of being brought into existence. All the things throughout all that, that entire spectrum of time, that entire life story, there with their child the fact that they will be an adult person and just all the things that can go horribly terribly wrong people should think more deeply about that um, and I guess that is it 